In workshop two, let's explore the idea of a consumer board in more detail. So what I want you to do is to create your own personal mind map. So here's mine. And in your mind map, I want you to include things about your age, your gender, your interests, hobbies, what you like watching on television, where you go to um, see your friends, where you shop. Think of all the things that might be interesting to a company about you. So do you shop online? Do you shop on the streets? Do you prefer big stores? Do you like somewhere where there's a really good customer service? All of those kind of things, put them down. So I've put just a mix of different things um, about me that I think are interesting. And at this point, it's all written. I didn't have any coloured pens, so I haven't used any, but ideally you're going to make yours a little prettier than mine and maybe put some little drawn images in it, maybe um, a doodle on top and put a lot more detail than I have. I've done mine quite quickly. Once you've done that, I want you to start thinking about creating a visual board. So if you go onto Pinterest and places like that, you'll see lots of different boards, but I want you to play around with a 3D board. So I've got some um, pieces here that are to do with me as a person. So I have my own fashion brand and I work with that a lot. Um, so that's very important to me. I also travel quite a lot. So I'm going to put in some train tickets, other things that are related to my fashion job. Um, I also like chocolate. So there's going to be a, a pitcher of chocolate and I drink a lot of tea. So I go out. I like having cups of tea in a cafe somewhere like that. Um, I like eating chocolate. So maybe they could think about doing a collaboration if a brand wanted to sell to me, collaboration with my favourite chocolate bar. Um, I listen to a lot of music, so I'm going to put my headphones in to symbolise that. Um, and probably like you, I'm on the phone and I'm on Instagram a lot. So I'm going to put a picture of my phone in there as well. And sunglasses. I always have at least one pair of sunglasses in my bag all of the time. And I always have some pens. I also, because I'm quite creative, so they're going to be thinking, how can I appeal to a creative person? So my brand is a slow fashion brand. So I've got something that symbolizes that there. And I live in the countryside. So I'm going to put a picture in there. So if they wanted to um, attract me as a customer, maybe they would think about um, opening some stores, not just in big towns, but in smaller towns as well or maybe selling more on the internet where I can actually see the stuff. Put a few things here. So I've printed off some images that relate and I've just kind of jumbled them on a page. You're gonna have a little bit more time to um, make your board look more appealing, but just try and gather maybe pictures of your family, those kind of things, and put them on a board and then stand on the table and take a picture from above. 